So we had this data lake storage with all the central data, but we also realized that there's a lot more data that is out there in the company that is sitting with the respective teams that still has high analytical value, but is currently not made accessible. Even worse, some of these teams were sharing the data directly with each other without any compliance or governance whatsoever. So we came up with this approach that uh, we love to call bring your own bucket or BYOB, um, where we invited the different teams to connect their buckets with the central uh, platform that we were providing. And to be honest, from the AWS perspective, that is actually from a technical side, a very simple procedure um, that requires very little from the users to actually execute, while at the same time, it is completely self-service. So now we are in the situation where we are allowing teams to, well, add buckets to this now no longer central data lake, uh, but more growing federated data lake um, so that they can make their data available to the teams that were already using the platform um, and making, making sense of the data that we were using here. And that was again, where we were putting, uh, where we were pulling out the things that we already had in place. We already had a processing platform. We already had data transformation capabilities um, uh, where we were offering Spark as a service to the rest of the company. And we are also tightly integrating with Starburst that is running on top of all of that to um, provide a distributed SQL engine to all the analytical users in the company. So now we started from this position where these tools were available on the central storage. But now that we allowed the people to plug in these federated buckets into, into the, the getting more decentralized data lake, um, immediately these tools would still work out of the box for their data. So now somebody that had some data that they somehow wanted to analyze very frequently, they needed to build up their own processing engine uh, just to understand what this data is about. By just plugging it into the central gov uh, into the central platform, you got all this processing capabilities for free. And even more so, if you could directly make use of the governance layer at the same time. So this whole access process that I already mentioned that allowed people to request access um, to these central buckets was immediately extended also to these other locations. Because in the end, all you are doing when you're referencing a data set on S3 is just having a URL. And as long as you have technical access, that's actually super simple to share the access to this data. And this was, again, something that was picked up by the platform team, picked up by this governance process, and just plugged in automatically. 